It's the new technique in racehorse recovery that has some of Australia's leading trainers in raptures. Richard Butterworth pioneered equine salt therapy to assist with high performance, rapid recovery and the ultimate well-being of thoroughbreds. Now, his system is widely deployed throughout Australia as trainers seek to have their horses perform at their peak at the highest level. The main benefits are primarily as a dedicated decongestant, so a lot of the horses suffer from mucus issues and the fine salt aerosol that we generate in the uh, salt room is ingested deep into the horse's lung and that effectively settles on the mucus and the sputum in the horse's lung and liquefies that. Skin conditions are also uh, very quickly uh, treated and, and fixed up. Uh, there, there could be um, boils and skin rashes, we've had mud fever and in Sydney there's been some ringworm issues that have been very rapidly uh, fixed from uh, the salt therapy where the salt settles on the coat of the horse which heats up in the salt room. When the horse comes out of the salt room and you know that any bacteria that comes in direct contact with salt is killed stone dead, there's no other outcome, that uh, the horse cools and that salt is drawn in on a very large organ which is the skin of the horse. The main aspect of the performance recovery part of the salt therapy is in the way that the sodium chloride hydrates the cell. With the salt therapy is that it's able to con deal with some of those issues in, in real time so that the horses rest better, they recover better and they perform better. The real horses that benefit from this uh, technology are the warriors, the horses that uh, slog it out and, and compete on a, on a regular basis and uh, to sort of deplete of uh, mineral salts. We've had a lot of success with some older horses who've made startling recoveries. The reason being is that the horse is a grazing animal and it derives a lot of its mineral salts from that grazing action out of, out of the ground and earth. And when you put them in the race environment, you're taking them away from that and they're depleting mineral salts and this is why they respond so well. It's the, the horses that are really the soldiers, the, the, uh, the warriors out there that are fighting on to, um, you know, keep themselves in optimal performance. But Managar hasn't Moody turned him around. Managar races away and Managar beat American drunken sailor third. Well, Richard, the horse is now in the salt room, as it were. The time is on and uh, it looks like you're set for 15 minutes. Yeah, so what we're replicating is a microclimate that you'd find in some of the salt mines in Russia. They discovered that a lot of those small villages and towns had no instance of respiratory illness and they attributed that to the fact that the people lived and worked in the salt mines. So we're trying to replicate that microclimate. So we have uh, negative ions in that room, which is similar to what you'd find you know, at the surf beach or in a rainforest or at a waterfall. So that means in your day-to-day -day or the horse's day-to-day -day life in their dusty stable environment, you know, they're surrounded by positive ions which are harmful and, and we give them a 15 minute reprieve and sanctuary in the, in the treatment room to uh, just breathe in and, um, and that combined with a lot of their other activities as Peter said with the one percenters that uh, their swimming activities and everything combined uh, helps to sort of recuperate the horse. The salt is slowly filtering into that room, small particles and the, and the horse just stands there and accepts it. The, the horse, if it, if it breathes, it has to ingest the salt. And the important part about that is some important mineral salts are very difficult for the horses to ingest. In this environment, the horse has no choice other than to ingest those salts. It is a performance driven industry and uh, this salt therapy, it sounds, is all about trying to, to get the best from these racehorses. Absolutely, and that's, that's why the top trainers have embraced what, what I've brought to them. Uh, and with such a, a willingness to explore something which is completely natural and also salt is not uh, unknown to equine professionals. They, they realise that there's some benefits involved in using salts with uh, horses.
Well, with the equine salt therapy, I suppose the proof is in the pudding. Peter Moody joins us. Peter, we're, we're at the, uh, the, the box where this takes place. As a racehorse trainer, your thoughts on it? Um, yeah, we've been pleased. Um, you know, we went into it a little bit blind and uh, we did, a, I suppose, a bit of a test period with Richard and our veterinary group, Melbourne Equine. And, uh, um, you know, while probably some things are a little bit inconclusive, uh, we've certainly seen benefits from it, you know, through uh, not only their respiratory system, but uh, skin ailments also. We found it to be very beneficial and particularly in Melbourne where we have that sort of dampish climate and you struggle to dry things out. and. Horses are not only susceptible to coughs and colds, they're also susceptible to a lot of skin irritations and diseases and dermatitis, and it seems to work well there. And, and, and the big plus for me is it's natural. Yeah. Is it fair to say, uh, from a trainer's point of view, it's as important getting a horse to the races as it is after the races to get this horse back and recover well? Is, is it assist in that way? Yeah, yeah, not only in racing, but also in training, um, you know, pre and post. And probably post is a thing that's become a lot more significant, not only in our sport, in all sports. Once upon a time, a bloke would go and play a game of footy or a horse would go and race and he'd get tied up in a stall, the bloke would play footy and go to the pub, have a cigarette and a beer. Now there's a cool down period and a stretch down and then you want to make sure their airways are good and everything. And that's where uh, I believe this is certainly uh, is a great aid to uh, training. And it's keeping no stone unturned to have your horses performing the way you want them to perform. It's those little one percenters that count. Um, you know, unless you've got a black caviar, and unfortunately I've got a lot of them and I haven't found another one, it's that little one percent that can make the difference at the end of the day, whether it's in a group one or a class one. For you, is it two-year-olds, three-year-olds, older horses? Does it, does it discriminate as far as assisting? I don't think so. Probably your younger, more immature horses are more susceptible to any type of bug attacking the system, a bit like children, uh, in some ways their immune system's not built, so they're probably more susceptible, but I suppose then in the older horses you get the wear and tear, you can get a bit of, you know, scar tissue in the lungs and airways, um, you know, so it, it's got to aid that, I believe. So one of the first things I did was got my vets to go down to the human uh, salt therapy rooms and, uh, and see what they thought of that. and. Uh, I also uh, contacted some of their leading football clubs here in Victoria that have utilised the facility. Uh, sort of certainly the dampish climate that we have here for a greater part of the year, it's a great aid, but I think in any climate, uh, even probably humid, uh, where horses can suffer from airway problems, it'll be a great aid. And from a horse's point of view, it, it would be fairly stress-free. You're an advocate of some sort. Yeah, well, we've had the room probably a bit over a year now, and uh, as you can see, it's still up and running, so uh, we don't hang on to things too often if we don't believe in them. How the vets embrace this kind of technology? Vets, equine, physios, they're all part of the racing stable. How have they taken to the equine salt therapy and the idea around it? It's really taken the industry by storm, for use of better words. So, for example, some of the veterinary staff that we've got over at Cranbourne firmly believe that there's uh, benefits in what we're doing, and so much so that they've engaged uh, a clinical trial to commence out, out at that facility to prove the uh, effectiveness of, of what they've actually seen and, uh, and realised to be true. So that trial will be overseen by Melbourne University and there's you know, a lot of veterinary staff that are offering their time to conduct that trial which at the end will be published in a respected journal in London called the EVJ and uh, that, that's basically the end game. So there's, there's a level of self-belief with the veterinary um, community. And there's also veterinary practitioners that want to protect their own little patch because they have businesses to look after and I understand and respect that side of it. However, what I would suggest to the owners and trainers is that they ask those veterinary people, have they been in a salt room? Um, if the answer's no, then take their opinion with a grain of salt.